power lane over here. Or 154, but 8815 is a dash 940 safe standard cap. Or a top hat, as they're known as, because of the, because of the white. Well, top hats because of the standard cab and the white that they have in the front. Anyway, when GE, um, when Norfolk Southern bought these units, they're already making the wide cab dash 940 CW, which is 9543. And, well, GE was, in fact, Norfolk Southern was paying more for the standard cab, being they no longer made it. And they said, hey, why don't you just order Dash 940 CWs? And in that case, then, then you'll save yourself some more money. Save more money. Well, they did. And well, they said, well, can we order with standard control stands rather than the desk thing? I said, sure. You can order, you can order the top of the long in front or, what, or whatever direction you want to go. And that's what they did. So these are unique to Norfolk Southern, the Dash 40C, so I'm going to gather. I don't think any other railroad bought the standard cab Dash 40Cs, and the wide cabs came out. Dash 40Cs, yes. So that is a Nathan Air Horn. I think it's a Cal, it might be a Cal 5A. I could be wrong. But yeah, these are getting harder to find. A lot of them get converted into AC 44C6Ms. And, um, but this is a rare find now. Yeah, they're getting harder and harder and harder to find when you're all being converted to wide caps. But thankfully, 80, 8815 has not yet been converted. Or should I say rebuilt. Hopefully it will stay this way for, forever. But, and this is, this is, this is what they ordered. This is the 40C, 9540. This is a mid well, this is 8815. The early ones, early wide cabs, are 8900 number so This is 95, so this is like, my word, 500 engines more. So, I mean, they ordered a lot of these. Now, the problem is they click to the number series of Dash 944 CW. So, I don't understand why they combine. It's really hard to find to figure out what's going on there. But anyway, so when they did it, I don't know why they're all idling them, which is quite odd. You should just have one engine idling periodically. It's not better to be a 9543. Notice the exhaust stack location on 8815 and 9543. These are older GVs. This is ES44 AC 8155. Last time I saw it, it was leaving a south and uh, it's in the opposite direction. This unit has two same points set, a different type of points set than the eighty-one fifty-five. I mean, it's an eighty-one fifty-five. You think it's an older engine? Maybe it was. Now this exhaust pipe can be a little further back. This engine is actually the predecessor to the EC44. And this engine is, does not pollute the atmosphere as much as these do. So anyway, but this is this is the pure this is the predecessor to the EC44. Um you look at it. Oh, it's fantastic. Um too bad it's not a heritage. If it only is a fancy unit or I don't know, or, or the next thing it could be awesome. But anyway, the full laying over here, the signals are both camber, which means nothing is going on. Dead as a doornail here, that's Paris Mountain in the background. 